let me let me start with showing you what I've experienced during during uh, the last bit, the third part of our previous Erasmus um, activity, Erasmus project, which had the title of building a network in the field of education with, within the EU. So the um, the program I participated in was the soft skills for strong teachers. So I will show you um, a few of these soft skills that that we can we can we can put at practice in our classroom um, environment. This was the school, the Europass Teachers Academy in in Florence, not so far from the. Uh, central square, of which I will show you pictures later. So, um, we were in 14, it's a 14 member, member strong squad, to say. One of our colleagues came from, came from Poland, and two from Portugal, two from Spain, three Bulgaria, two from Finland, one from France, and two from Hungary, and look, one from the UK. These are the classrooms, and as we always do, we had to introduce, introduce ourselves, the school, so I did. These are the so-called ice-breaking activities when, when we um, got to know better each other. On the, on the second day, Tuesday, Tuesday morning, we were introduced to an application. It is, called, it, it is called Goose Chase. Goose Chase is a social app, which is a team-building team building tool designed to um, increase student activity, student engagement, and it can also be used for ice-breaking activities at the beginning of, of a company meeting um, for, for school children of, 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 of whatever age. So this is like a traditional scavenger hunt um, game. On, on, fr on uh, Tuesday afternoon, because this was Tuesday morning, on Tuesday afternoon um, we went on having the soft skills training, training sessions until late, late Friday, Friday afternoon. Soft skills contrasting the hard skills. You know, hard skill is the academic knowledge that you, trying to, you are trying to transfer, you are trying to pass it on to your students. And the soft skills is the nitty gritty of it, how to do it, how not to do it. So actually here we talk about a whole range of inter and intrapersonal um, abilities for the sake of the students to improve, to learn, to understand um, your subject better. And then the, the learning outcomes, for example, the effect, we had to learn through examples and group, group, group works how to work together effectively in a classroom environment. The most important one was to emphasize the importance of a group work, of a group work in a classroom for students and how to get them work in groups, how to motivate them and how to increase by using these group works, the students' average retention rate, which we know is, is getting shorter and shorter and shorter. I don't know where we are now. It, it could be like Zhuzha Yu from mathematics could tell us um, eight to 10 minutes. That is the maximum retention rate of a student, and then, and then, they, and then they get lost already. On the, last, on the last day, as always, as usual, we received uh, our um, uh, certificate. But before, yes, actually we had to do something. Before, we had to plan uh, had to make a lesson plan based on these criteria listed here, how to present your lesson, how to deliver the instructions for your lesson, what materials to use, how to organize the group work, how to evaluate the project itself, and the resources that uh, you would use and how, how you can source the resources, and um, in what way, shape, and form your students would benefit from, from, from um, the lesson you are about to deliver, obviously with the soft skills um, in hindsight. And just a few pictures before I conclude about this really marvelous and mesmerizing beautiful city.